close the front door behind you, Ron, and, and don't make a noise. Your mother's had a bath and gone to bed. You can see the wet footprints leading from the kitchen. <laughs> now come in the parlour for a bit of a warm, and we'll have a... Ron? Yes, Dad? What have you got on your head? My cap, Dad. It's not your cap, Ron. Hey? Somehow or other, you have on your head a fluffy pink angora beret with a pom-pom. <laughs> pom-pom? Pom-pom. Pom-pom. <laughs> Don't let stand here sounding like a couple of Bofors guns. <laughs> you see what's happened, can't you? You yeah. see what you've done? What? You've picked up the wrong hat in the cinema. That fluffy pink berry belonged to whoever was sitting next to you. Who was it? Try and remember. Oh, Dad, you mean I've been sitting next to a girl? Now, Ron, you're trembling. Well, now, Ron, I... now, Ron. <laughs> now, stop it, Ron. Well... Oh, you are a most painfully shy boy. Oh. The mere mention of girls and the back of your neck starts glowing as red as a night watchman's brazier. <laughs> Ron, are you scared of girls? Yes, Dad. <laughs> when I met a girl, I never know what to do. I just pull me cap down over me face and hope she'll go away. <laughs> oh, Ron. I can't think of anything to say. Oh, Ron, knowing what to say is the easiest part. There's, there's hundreds of acceptable phrases. Uh, excuse me, but do you come here often? I live here, Dad. <laughs> I know where you live. I ought to know that I'm explaining the technique to you. Technique. I mean, you might say, for example, can I get you a still lemon? Or, uh, I find the company in here rather boring. Let's take a stroll in the shrubbery. You get it, Ron? No, Dad. <laughs> well, try and remember. I'm going back to that cinema. This girl's bando left her name and address there as soon as she found out her hat was missing. If I can get you and her meeting each other... Ron, boy, our troubles are over. But, Dad... I'll go out the back door, it's quicker. But, Dad! Dad, come back. I don't want to meet any girl. Oh, please, Dad. Oh, thank goodness he heard me. Good evening. Are you the gentleman in the cinema to whom I sat next? It's a girl. <laughs> go away. <laughs> I'm all alone. My cap? You left your cap under the seat when you went. I saw your address inside, so I... Well, I took the liberty of bringing it round. Oh. I do hope you were up. Up what? I haven't got you out of bed, I mean. Oh. Did you say I was the one who was sitting next to you? Yes. Then you must be the one who was sitting next to me. Well, yes, that's right. My dad wants to talk to you. You'd better come in. Oh, come in? Well, well, I am rather soaked. Perhaps I'd better just dry off a bit. Thank you. The parlour's through here. Oh, shall I, um, shall I sit on the sofa? If you like. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, but do you come here often? Come where? Oh, I don't know. Dad didn't tell me what to <laughs> You know, uh, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but in the pictures I could only see you profile. I, um, I thought you were much darker skinned. I'd been eating a chalk ice. <laughs> What's your favourite flavour of the month? Oh, Neolobitan. That, that's mine, too. Is it? Yeah. Well, isn't that strange? <laughs> There's me, just happening to find your cap, and then it turns out we both like Neil Opperton ice cream. <laughs> 
sends a shiver up your spine, doesn't it? If you have enough of it. <laughs> By the way, I, I don't believe I mentioned it. My name's Eth. Eth. How about yours? No, mine isn't. <laughs> Let's see if I can guess what your name is. Um, you look like a Charlie to me. <laughs> no, my name is Ron. Oh, that's nice. It's, well, it's masculine, isn't it? No, it's glum. <laughs> Ron Glum. Well, Ron, I mustn't miss my bus. I'm afraid I must be off. No, no, eh? No. Stay a bit longer. Wait till Dad comes before you be off. came in to dry off from the rain. Did she? Ron, put her on the line. She won't dry that way, Dad. <laughs> no, Ron, let me talk to her. Oh, yeah, my dad wants to talk to you, yeah? Oh, um, hello, Mr Glum. How do you do? How do you do? Mr Glum is quiet here. <laughs> I wonder if you would deign my family the honour of vouchsafing a cup of tea with us tomorrow. We could straighten matters out over a hot buttered muffin. Well, that's very nice, I'm sure. Yes, I'd like to. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Shall we say four for four thirty? Four for four thirty? Four for four thirty. Well, the kitchen clock's half an hour slow, you see. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow, then. <laughs> Come on, Ron, come on, Ron, don't wander about. Your rich girlfriend will be here any minute now. When that cinema manager told me you that had been reported lost by none other than the Miss Partington of Partington's Multiple Groceries, well, you could have knocked me down with a pom-pom. What's Partington's, Dad? What's Partington's? Only the biggest chain of retail groceries in the home counties. This is a crucible moment in our futures. I just remember to behave like a... Oh, hello, this'll be a... Uh, action stations, Ron. Open the door. Right, oh, Dad. Hello, Ron. Hello, Beth. <laughs> Do just come in and divest yourself. We have met over the phone, in a manner of speaking. Oh. I'm Ronald's well-to-do father. Oh, yes. How do you do? I'm... I know who you are. Oh. May I say what a conquest you've made of my sophisticated young man about town here? Oh, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Talk about smitten. I've never seen him so smart. <laughs> Will you, uh, excuse me, my dear. Yes. I promised to ring up my stockbreaker. <laughs> Just you catch yourself some Dundee, dear. As thick a slice as you like. We're not short of a few pence. Thank you. All right, Ron, get at it. Oh, Ron, when I said I'd come for tea, I, I didn't realise you lived in this style. Neither did I, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll answer the door, Ron. You concentrate on what you're doing, or. Good afternoon. Tell me, a special constable. Constable? I am Simpson, chauffeur to Miss Partington. Oh, Miss Partington. Look, she don't want you yet. She's on the sofa with my son. Oh, but look, I'll... Give him, give him half hour, please. Once I'm in the family, I'll see you all right for new laid eggs. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Miss Partington is outside in the roll. Outside? Yes. Would you be good enough to uh, return a pink hat she dropped from the balcony of the cinema onto your son's lap? From the balcony? You mean she wasn't sitting next to my son? Is it likely that Miss Partington had sit downstairs in the one of nines? Oh, <laughs> just a minute. F, come here. Yes, Mr. Glenn. Uh, look at this pink hat with a pom-pom, my dear. Does it mean anything to you? No, I never wear a hat, Mr. Glum. 
Oh, and if I did, this would take my wage packets for a year. Hey! Then get your grubby hands off it. <laughs> Here, Simpson, here's the hat. Oh. And uh, my compliments to Miss Partington. And um, would you be pleased to come inside and have a nice, intimate muffin tea with my unmarried son? I doubt it. Miss Partington's 62 and a martyr to her stomach. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I must take this hat to be disinfected. <laughs> Capitalist lucky! Tool of the boss classes! <laughs> sure. What are you so angry about? You! Oh. You imposter! You're no more rich than what we are! Oh, you mean... you mean you aren't rich? The only thing that's rich around here is a Dundee cake. <laughs> and that isn't paid for. So I'll thank you to put that slice back. Don't worry. It'll choke me now. Oh, Ron, I see what happened last night. I walk in here, and the only reason you say all those nice things to me is because you think I've got money. No, Eth, I don't do things like that. Like what? Think. <laughs> I meant what I said. Oh, Ron, and do you still? Oh, yes, Eth. I admire you more than ever. Now I know you're just as cheap and common as I am. <laughs> Ron, Ron, come away from that girl. Ron, Ron, I'll find you another rich girl. Let her be, Ron. Oh, Ethel. Ron, 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 this is your father talking. I'm asking you to remember what I told you. What you told me, Dad? Oh, yes. Eh? Yes, Ron, dear. I find the company in here rather boring. Let's take a stroll in the shrubbery. 